Peggy 18. Greetings, Outriders. Welcome to the Outriders Spotlight, a collection of videos where you can find out much more about individual topics in the world of Outriders. This is your one-stop shop, the place to be, where you'll have explanations straight from the team behind the game. This is just the start. We'll have plenty of deep dives coming in the future to prepare you for landing on Enoch. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll never miss a beat. We're kicking things off with one of the four classes you'll be playing as, the Trickster. If there's something you want to know in particular, we've broken the video down into sections. Use the time codes in the description below this video or just skip along to the part you want to see. Otherwise, sit back and learn everything you need to know about being Assassin class. As Tricksters, we manipulate the fabric of time and space to take our enemies by surprise. Who is this class for? Players who like to get in and out quick, leaving devastation in your wake. Tricksters are for you. However, because of the way skills and your passives can be customized, certain builds of the Trickster could be used as a tank roll for the rest of your group. The choice is yours. Fundamentals. The Trickster is focused around space and time powers and effects. You can see this in the class's melee attack, which stuns and slows enemies hit by it. Oh, and speaking of melee, it isn't one size fits all. Not only do the different classes have melee abilities enhanced by their own unique powers, but there are two variations as well. You've got your standard melee when standing still, or your upgraded attack when you activate melee while sprinting. Healing. Within the brutal and violent world of Outriders, there'll come times where you'll be hurt and need to be healed. The key thing to note here is that there aren't any quick fix health potions or magic spells, but playing offensively restores HP instead. This affects your playstyle in that it invites you to play more aggressively, rather than run and duck for cover when your health is low. Your best chance at survival may actually be to teleport to where the fighting is thickest. Taking your enemies down is the key to keeping you alive. Unique to the Trickster, they get healed when killing enemies in close range, and they also get shields, while other classes have their own healing mechanics. Let's explore four out of eight total powers the Trickster has at their fingertips. Each class has eight powers in total. You'll start off with a single power and unlock more as you level up. The Trickster will feature an additional four powers on top of those that we're talking about today, but we'll showcase these later on. Power 1, Temporal Slice. This will be the very first power you unlock as a Trickster, and it's the class's bread and butter. All enemies hit by the Slash will be temporarily paralyzed, which is displayed by their skeletons becoming visible and their movement greatly slowing down. Slowing enemies down is a key trickster skill, as it allows you and your squad mates to pour lead into any enemies caught in the effect. The Temporal Slice is especially effective in combination with other skills that cluster enemies close together. The Slice will affect all enemies and allow for maximum damage and kills, which can easily heal a nearly dead trickster back to full health thanks to the mechanics. Power 2, Borrowed Time. Upon use of this skill, you will instantly gain a percentage of your maximum health as a shield that absorbs damage before your health is affected. Additionally, using the power will create a time clone of yourself in the location that the power was used. You can thereafter freely move about and engage the enemy, or set up a trap. But using the Borrowed Time again, when your time clone is still active, will teleport you back to the time clone's location. Should you be going into a high-risk combat situation, you may want to use this skill as your quick escape from danger. Just when you're about to die, you can teleport to safety. Power 3, Slow Trap. This power will create a dome around you that slows down enemies and enemy projectiles while still allowing yourself and your allies to move at normal speed. Think of it as your own personal bullet time bubble. This is a skill that can be used both offensively and defensively. Defensive. 
Activate the dome in the middle of a firefight, and you and your fellow Outriders will be able to sidestep any incoming projectiles or melee attackers. You can also use the slow trap to help in resurrecting a fellow teammate if they've been downed in a particular hotspot. Enoch is also home to many different kinds of enemies, and you may occasionally find yourself swarmed by melee attackers or monsters. Activating slow trap in these circumstances can be an excellent way to trap numerous enemies. Move into a cluster of enemies and activate the dome to make them all move in slow motion. Then, go to town. Power 4, Hunt the Prey. When activated, this skill will allow you to highlight any visible enemy. Using the skill once more will teleport you directly behind them and you will additionally gain a percentage of your maximum health as a shield, whilst also slowing the enemy it's used on. You can instantly warp across the battlefield to either get yourself into or out of trouble. This skill could even be your opening gambit when first entering a combat encounter. You can walk right into the thick of the enemies and lay waste around you. Alternatively, you can also use it to teleport to single enemies who are separate from the main body of attackers. This should buy you some time and allow you to pick enemies off one by one. As with all classes in Outriders, powers can be hot swapped as long as they're not on cooldown. You could even change them while in combat, though we'd recommend taking cover to do so, or you may find yourself dead. Powers in Outriders are designed to have relatively short cooldowns. There's essentially no limit to how much you can use them to get the most out of combat. So far, we've mainly looked at four powers in isolation, but Outriders truly comes together when you and your squad mates are in the thick of battle, timing your powers perfectly to inflict maximum carnage. Hunt the Prey can be especially effective when combined with Borrowed Time. Teleport into the thick of it using Hunt the Prey, then inflict maximum damage using Temporal Slice or Slow Trap. If running into danger, Borrowed Time can be your ripcord to get you out of it again, while Hunt the Prey is on cooldown. This is only a very simple example of how powers could be chained. You'll no doubt find your own most effective ways of playing Outriders your way. Alter your Trickster Each class has a tree of class point nodes that you can activate to alter the way your build and skills work. Class points are acquired by leveling up. You won't be able to fill out the entire class tree, but you will be able to respec your nodes to change the way you play. The three branches for the Trickster link into the class's fundamentals – movement, damage, and disruption – with each branch providing both major and minor passives. In the Trickster's case, these three branches are called Master of Space, Harbinger, and Assassin. There are elements of the fundamentals in all branches. They're intertwined, and you can cross-link them to your personal needs and wishes. The Master of Space branch will generally provide bonuses while the player is moving, and improves your close combat effectiveness. No tier will enhance your damage with shotguns and SMGs when you use movement-based skills. The Harbinger is the tank path of the Trickster. This path focuses on providing damage mitigation as well as shield bonuses to provide maximum survivability. And the Assassin branch focuses on skill damage output. Several nodes here provide bonuses when you use damage and movement skills, and the path provides additional anomaly power and skill leech options. Additionally, the equipment you use may impact the way your skills work. An equipment's passives might reduce the cooldown or duration of a skill, or they might alter it on a more vital level. But we'll showcase these in the future.